Hi guys, um, I'm so excited to be recording my first YouTube video and I wanted to record my wash routine for color treated hair. I'm going to start off with a pre-poo which is just a way to get some extra moisture into your hair which is very very important with color treated hair because it can be drying especially because I've had bleach in my hair. Um, so I'm going to start off first of all by putting my hair into four sections because my hair is very thick so it just makes it a lot easier to work with. I'm going to be using some extra virgin olive oil to pre-poo. Um, I am just running it through my hair and also doing a bit of finger detangling as I'm going along. Um, just separating the hair as I go down. I was using Olaplex number three. Um, which is I guess it's sort of like a conditioner that's supposed to strengthen your hair um, But it is very expensive and you only get two to three ounces and that just does not last for the amount of hair that I have So I use an olive oil right now Which I'm actually finding is working better than that Olaplex conditioner So olive oil for the win um, once I feel that my hair is pretty much detangled, I'll add some more olive oil and continue to release some shed hair that I have, focusing on the ends as well as the shaft of the hair. So once I'm done, I'm just going to twist that section down and clip it away and then do the, re the same thing to the rest of the sections. Just adding olive oil, finger detangling a little bit, and twisting the section and putting it away. So when I got to my last section, still doing a bit of finger detangling, but after I twist it all the way down, I'm going to cover my hair with a plastic cap and let this warm up by sitting under the dryer for about 15 minutes and this just allows the oil to actually penetrate the hair a little bit better this is how much shed hair i got which is really not a lot for me um so after i sat under the dryer for 15 minutes i get into the shower to wash my hair I do prefer to wash my hair in the shower because the water pressure that comes down helps to detangle the hair. So I'm starting off by doing even more finger detangling. And then I'm going to use my Canra Color Treated Hair um, Shampoo. And I got this from Amazon, but my stylist who dyed my hair, she recommended it for color treated hair and it works really well um, it keeps my hair nice and moisturized it's not drying at all so when I wash my hair I like to focus on the scalp to make sure it gets nice and squeaky clean um, some of the shampoo does go down the shaft of my hair but I'm not focusing it there because even though I said this shampoo isn't drying generally shampoos are going to strip your hair of natural oils so I try to keep as much of it as I can on my scalp and then um, let the shampoo cleanse my shaft of my hair as it runs down when I'm rinsing it out. So after I've rinsed out my shampoo, I use a deep conditioner, which is also great for color treated hair. I'm using the Profective Mega Grow Deep Conditioner. And I just find that it really, really moisturizes my hair. And then I'm going through and detangling with the comb finally. Um, and I wanted to slow it down to show you that I'm very, very gentle with my hair. Um, I usually start at the ends with the comb and then work my way up. And as you can tell, that conditioner gives my hair some nice slip so that it, the comb glides right through. So after I've conditioned that section, I'll just twist it up and pin it away and then work on the other sections. Doing the same steps, making sure to get the shampoo into my scalp to work it around really good and release any oil or dirt that's trapped there. I'll rinse that out and then apply the deep conditioner and 
and detangle and then pin the section out of the way. So on this last section, I wanted to show you the technique I used to make sure I get that shampoo right on my scalp. I'll take one hand and pull that hair from the section out so that I can access my scalp with my fingers. It's really, really easy, but it's just a technique to make sure that you're getting your scalp nice and squeaky clean. Um, I use the pads of my fingers to massage my scalp. I try not to use my nails, but sometimes when you get that itch, <laughs> you just kind of have to. Um, so I'm going to rinse out that section, continuing to detangle, and I'm letting the water kind of, the water pressure kind of pull down my hair so that it's easier for me to detangle. I got some water in my eyes for a second, but I'm continuing to detangle. Wringing out the water and adding my deep conditioner. Focusing maybe more on the ends because that's the oldest part of the hair. Detangling from ends to the roots. And then I'm going to twist this section out of the way and put on my plastic cap and sit under the dryer for 10 minutes because that's what this deep conditioner recommends in the direction. So after I've sat under the dryer for about 10 minutes, I rinse out my conditioner with cool water to shock the hair shaft and lock in all of that moisture. I really make sure to rinse out the conditioner thoroughly as you can see in this clip here because when the deep conditioner stays on your hair, it can actually um, affect the way the style comes out in the end. So I really try to rinse that out very thoroughly, getting my scalp as well as the shaft and the ends of my hair really well. I'm wringing it out and pinning it away with the butterfly clip. I'm just going to finish up the last section here. And when I'm done, I always dry my hair with a t-shirt because the fibers on towels tend to pull my hair. So I had my t-shirt on to dry my hair out and I just wanted to show you the final results of after me washing my hair. I have no products on my hair right now, but it is very soft, moisturized, and defined. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.